Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a day night cycle. Uh, before going into this tutorial, I just want to, to let you guys know that uh, I'm running a contest in this channel. All you need to do is to just subscribe and uh, you will be getting five free construct to personal licenses. All right. So the winner will be declared on uh, July uh, 4th. So let's get started. Uh, so first of all I'm going to make uh, three layers we just add three layers the bottomest layer is going to be the sky the middle layer is the player layer and this one oops sorry I just deleted it so and this one is going to be the well let's call it night layer so in the sky layer I'm going to add a tiled background and it is going to be almost uh, sky in color and I'm going to position it on 0 by 0 sorry and the size is going to be same as the layout alright so I can now lock this sky now for the player I'm just going to set up a basic platformer uh, so that you can visualize the day and night effect uh, properly so I'm just going to add a sprite and it's just going to be a solid ground just going to resize it to 32 by 32 I'll call it ground I just, the I will just enable the snap to grid. And I'll just put those things over here. And also the origin, I'll just make it to the top left corner so that I can put it uh, properly in the grids. All right, this will do it. And then I'm going to add a player. Let me resize it to 32 by 32. And I'm going to give the ground a solid behavior. and the player a platform behavior I just test it so that everything just to check that everything is working fine yeah, it's alright so now here comes the main part of this tutorial the day and night cycle so I will click on this night layer now I can lock this player layer so in this night layer I'm going to add another tiled background and I'll make it uh, dark I'll make it black now you can keep uh, other colors too like I'm doing day and night I want to show night so the darkness uh, if you want you can show sunset sunrise uh, with orange color so it really depends upon you and the position is going to be 
0 by 0 did I just put O by 0 alright and the size is going to be the layout size and I'm going to keep it at the opacity of 0 now here is the thing so basically I'm going to be controlling its opacity to darken the layout so if I put opacity of 10 you see the thing has got a bit darker so let's make it more dark so we can visualize it properly so 75 you see it's a lot more darker and this will give that effect of night so let's reset it to opacity 0 and here I want to automatically create a code by which the opacity will go from 0 to uh, say a maximum value I I just tested it and I saw that uh, 95 is the a good value because I don't want a pitch dark I don't want the player to be uh, not being able to see the player so I think 0 to 95 is a quite appropriate value so I want to make the code so the opacity will go from 0 to 95 and then 95 to 0 so for that I'm going to use uh, first let us make a global variable I will call it darkness and then let me rename the player first So from the system, every tick, tile background, set opacity to, now here we are going to use sign function. So basically what sign does is that it uh, gives me a value uh, ranging from minus 1 to 1. So I'm going to use sign of darkness multiplied by 95 so basically it give me a value from minus 95 to plus 95 however the negative part we want to eliminate that so we will be using absolute function that is abs so it will negate the negative uh, sign and now we need to increase this darkness variable so every say one second I'm going to increase the darkness by value of 10 so now if I run it As you can see, every one second, the sky is getting darker and darker. And once it reaches the maximum value, it will get lighter and lighter. And this will continue uh, infinitely. now you can smooth this thing out because it is looking quite patchy so you can just smooth this out by making say every 0 0.1 second add darkness of say 0 0.1 so it will gradually become darker and it will gradually become lighter it won't be too much uh, visible or too much uh, the player won't be able to understand the change instantly because it will be a gradual process if you notice it properly 
you will understand that the layout is getting darker all right i think now the darkness is visible enough so that's it for this tutorial please leave a comment like and subscribe and as you already know if you subscribe you are going to enter into a contest uh, by which you can get a free constructor personal license so best of luck for that uh, see you next time